So the DMDD has just published a study looking at 42 different mutant mouse lines. These are lines in which an individual gene has been mutated, a gene that's essential for development of the embryo. So in none of these lines are embryos born to the mice because they all fail to develop at some point during their development. These are very interesting genes for us because they tell us a lot about what what, how normal development occurs in the embryo and they also give us clues as to what might cause congenital abnormalities in, in babies and that's why we want to study them. We studied them by looking in detail at the structure of the embryo as it develops to try and understand exactly what the mutation causes to go wrong in development of the embryo. So we've compiled all the results from 42 different mutations, looking at over 200 embryos. And the most striking result that we get from that is that an individual mutation, although causing profound and often multiple effects in development of the embryo, you don't always get exactly the same type of uh, malformation from the same mutation when you look at several different embryos that carry that mutation. So an individual mutation causes a spectrum of abnormalities and individuals can show slightly different spectrums of, from the, se the same mutation. And that's a challenge for us to understand because all of these mice are on exactly the same genetic background and so it's not that they have some different genes that are somehow interacting and causing the differences in how they respond to the individual mutations. It's also interesting because it will help us understand why that also happens in people.